Welcome artist into the studio and I've got some exciting news for this month's series of paintings called Pastel Do-Over. Did you know you could do this to a pastel painting? In this video, we'll step back in time to have a little blast from the past of many of my older paintings. Often our work changes after we've been painting for a while or perhaps some pieces get a little smudged. So I'm gonna teach you how to renew, repurpose and restore many of these pastel surfaces. So let's take a look at some of my older pieces and let's Let's get started. Here I am at a very behind the scenes angle in Monet Cafe studio with my son's dog, Ashi. He's so sweet. He's going to be tapping around in the studio while I talk. I'm getting ready to kick off this month's theme called Pastel Do-Over. And what I have in front of me is a wide assortment of different surfaces that I've used over the years for pastel paintings. And these are paintings that are older of mine that it's just not quite my style anymore. And what I'm focusing on this month is how you can actually repurpose, reuse, and restore pastel surfaces. And that's great news for seasoned artists who've been painting for years like I have, and you have so much of your older work that's just not your style anymore. You've improved, but you don't have to throw those surfaces away. You can reuse them, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that. It's also great news for beginner artists because often as beginner artists, we're just so nervous, especially when you've bought a surface that is perhaps a little pricey. Well, this is great news because you can reuse them. Pastel surfaces, many of them are very durable and uh, you're gonna love learning how to reuse them. Another thing that's great about repurposing pastel surfaces is I believe it brings a freshness and a fearlessness to the painting that you recreate. I think it's because you know you're already working on a surface that you've reused and there's a little bit more freedom in that. So I'm gonna now show you some of my older paintings and I'm going to tell you what types of surfaces they're on, but throughout this month, I'm going to take different surfaces and show you what type of technique you need to use to repurpose that type of pastel surface. All right, let's get started. These are some of my paintings that I have done on sanded pastel surfaces, such as UART or Fisher 400. And I'm going to be sharing this month about how there are many water-friendly pastel surfaces, such as UART, Fisher 400, and others, that you can literally brush off most of the pastel and wash it in your kitchen sink. Just wash it off and scrub off the pastel. Some of them come back almost uh, like new, but uh, many of them will just leave a ghost image, which is absolutely fine and can be kind of inspirational too. This is one that I, I did actually not that long ago, and I don't know, I'm just not loving it. So uh, I shared this one because it's one that's not in a plastic bag that you can actually see. So, you know, some of these paintings here are much older. Some of them are from lessons. And one thing I wanted to share, uh, this one's a little dark, but uh, they do look darker in the bag. So if you're using this bag technique like I have, I'm actually switching to a different way that I ship my paintings. I'll have to share a video on that. But if you are using this bag technique, um, it, the painting appears, you can see here, the painting, there's a sheen, but you can kind of see, it looks kind of dark. It's not quite as dark. I'm not worried about smearing this since uh, I'm gonna redo it. It's not quite as dark when you take it out of the bag. So that's something that you might wanna let your client know if you're shipping paintings like that. Just say, you know, when you take it out of the bag, it's gonna be a little brighter and lighter. I've never had a problem with that though. Um, they're going to be framing it anyway. But this one had a little bit of an iridescent pastel on it. And I think I'm gonna redo that one. And uh, this is a much older painting of mine here that one of, I think it was probably within the first couple of years of painting. And I like it, but it's not my current style anymore. So let me take this one out of the bag. Now, one thing that you can do is you can just let the painting, sorry for all this noise, um, that's, that you're going to kind of erase, inspire you. You can recreate the same painting in your current style, or you can recreate a whole new painting. I should have probably sped this section up here, um, but let me go ahead and pull this one out. Oh, and I was wrong. This one is not on uh, UART or Fisher 400. This is not a water-friendly surface. This is a Sennelier Le Carte pastel card. It is not water-friendly. 
but I have a way to uh, repurpose these surfaces as well that I'll be sharing. So let's get to one here, and I'm not worried about messing these up. Oh, this is one that got, I don't know, it just got a little bit too roughed up in the bag, um, and a lot of it came off. That doesn't happen all the time. It may have been pressed between a lot of other pastel paintings. So I do believe that this one is on a UART surface. And it is, it, I like it, I really like it, but the mark making has just gotten a little um, blurred or muddied. So I think it is a UART. This is UART 400 here. Again, water friendly. I could totally wash this off or I could just restore it and freshen this painting up again. So that's some other things we're gonna be doing. I think this is a good one to show how to refresh an older painting. This is a much older painting of mine. I think again, within the first few years of painting, maybe the first year, and I did it of some dogwood trees at my mama's property. And um, I'm using this kind of like a critique of my own work. And this was when I was, thinking I had to paint all of the leaves. Look at that. I had so many little marks of these leaves, which is really not the most painterly approach. I decided to do a little split screen here. The more recent painting I already shared at the beginning of this video. I think you can pretty easily see the different treatment of the leaves and how the painting on the left feels more painterly and natural. This once again is a much older painting of mine. Again, when I was just making way too many marks, too many um, grasses, and I like some things about it, but I would like to probably, I don't know, I might try to uh, kind of create a ghost image with this one and recreate a similar marsh scene, but in my more current style. Oh wow, this is like a walk down memory lane for me. It was a tutorial I actually created this is when I was kind of first starting out making videos, or I'd been doing it a little while, and sharing what I was learning about pastel painting, and I believe this one also on UART 400. And I, again, I could keep this one just for a little memory of an older tutorial, but I think I'm just gonna wash it off and maybe create a similar scene. This is a painting that was done on UART 400, and I believe I did this one just from imagination. I just kind of wanted to relax and paint something. And it's a little sloppy. That's what I would call this one. I like the composition. I like the general idea of the meandering marsh. But it's nice to know because it's on UART 400. I can repurpose this sheet of pastel paper and maybe create a similar scene. Here is some footage and a quick example of what I've already done to this painting. I am basically just scrubbing off the pastel with a stiff bristle brush, and I would recommend to do this outside. You're gonna see a full video on this process, um, and you can be a little more careful than I am here. I was actually doing this to post a little Instagram reel. And then if it is a water-friendly surface, yes, you can literally put it in your kitchen sink. Now watch how great this pastel is removing. I believe this brush is like a stenciling brush. Um, some of it didn't come off. I'm not sure if I did some sort of an underpainting with this or not, but often you can literally take off almost every bit of the pastel using UART, Fisher 400, or Pastel Matte. Again, this month I'm going to take different surfaces and show you exactly how to do that. Oh, and UART is known for a paper that has a tendency to curl up on the edges. So I have a great way to make it really nice and flat after you wash it off. Again, I'll be sharing all these tips very soon. This is a painting that I did when my husband and I went on a cruise. His company treated us to a cruise, which was awesome. And I believe I had snapped some photos of beach scenes. I think it was from my own reference, I'm not sure. But uh, it's once again on a UART 400, so I know I can very easily um, brush off most of the pastel and wash off the surface. And I think I might like to recreate this one. So, and especially if you save some of those reference images, you can use the same reference to recreate the painting. I didn't have as many surfaces that were on pastel matte, a surface that I love, but I had a few of these smaller ones that I had already um, brushed off or kind of washed off to a degree. 
And this is an example of the ghost image of the painting that was left behind. This was just a piece of white pastel matte and this would be so great to recreate a new painting. You don't even have to create the ghost image that's here. Uh, by layering, you could create a whole new painting. Here's another example of kind of a ghost image. I haven't even brushed off all of the pastel of this one, um, but again, a very reusable piece of pastel matte. This is another painting that was created on Sennelier La Carte. Again, not a water-friendly surface that I can just brush off the majority of the pastel and perhaps create a painting that's similar, freshen it up. Um, now this painting, I did like it um, when it was fresh and new, but it got a little damaged actually in the plastic bag. And this is something to keep in mind with this surface, Sennelier Le Carte. Pastels don't adhere as well to this surface. So when you have completed your painting, it is a great idea to get a sheet of tracing paper or um, a surface called glassine. It's something the pastel won't stick to. Cover your painting with it and get a rolling pin or anything that is cylindrical and firm and press your pastels into this surface. Then gently pull up your tracing paper and um, then it will press the pastels into the surface. Oh, and prior to that, I forget to mention, it's a good idea before that Take your paintings, no matter what surface, outside, give them a good tap on the back, outside so you don't breathe it, and it will loosen up a lot of the pastel dust. It won't damage your painting, it just gets some of the loose dust off of the surface. So I'm going to probably dust this off and redo it as well. Do you have any older watercolor paintings that maybe you'd like to refresh and add some pastel? Well, I have a great technique to do just that. These are just some of the things in store for you and your artistic learning this month. And if you're a patron of mine, I'm going to be sharing with you in your Patreon post some videos I've already done with repurposing pastel surfaces. So be sure if you're a patron to look for those links in your Patreon Patreon post. Here's just a quick example of the painting that was created, yes, from the surface you just saw me kind of erasing off in the kitchen sink. It is quite amazing how you can create an entirely new painting, not even with the same subject matter. And if you would like to become a patron on my Patreon page, it's super easy. You support this channel. It's only $5 a month and you unlock hundreds of lessons. And I love to have you as part of my Patreon family. So come on and join the fun. I'm really looking forward to bringing you these lessons. And I've certainly got a lot of work to do, so I better get started. All right, everyone. God bless and happy painting.